Welcome to episode 216 of Clarity Compressed. My name's Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about taking things out of context. There's not going to be a fancy intro today. Um, as you can see, if you're watching, that my background is different. I am in my brand new office. We moved in. My whole life, <laughs> you know, when you move into somewhere, everything's all messed up. Um, well, it's like that right now. That's why you hear reverb on this microphone, because my sound treatments haven't arrived yet. So I feel all out of whack. But today I want to talk about context, because have you ever seen someone who looks like kind of a mess? Or somebody who did something that was out of character? Or somebody who did something that you were just like, I don't like people that do those things. So I'm automatically going to... Um, overlay some le level of judgment or overlay some, some level of kind of decision making based on what I just saw, heard, or experienced. And sometimes it's even internal, right? What I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a lot of credence and credibility in what I'm feeling at the moment without considering the context. And really, when I talk about clarity and I talk about perspective, another word that we can use to overlay on that is context. When I talk about the map, when you walk into the mall and you want to get to the Apple store and you see it on the map, it doesn't matter that you see it on the map until you know where you are on the map, until you see that you are here on the map. And what that is, it gives you perspective. It gives you context. So, you know, one, one thing that really, really was uh, kind of front and center last week, the last two weeks, was this element of, um, you know, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, and I'm not going to get into that, definitely. Um, you've heard and you've seen enough of that, but the reality is, is that moment is just a result of all the context that it lives within, everything that's happened beforehand, everything that's going to happen after, right? But really, that moment was the culmination of a lot of other things, and in life, our moments are the culmination of a lot of other things. Last week, we talked about uh, uh, sowing and reaping, knowing, you know, summary, summary being, um, whatever's going on in your life right now is that you are reaping things that you cultivated previously, and today you get to plant and sow in the ground things that you will one day reap in the future. So it's this constant uh, cycle, really, of planting and reaping, sowing and reaping, and all of th and that plays into context and the, the principles of context very, very well because in any given moment, the context is what you have already sown previously and what you will reap one day from what you are sowing. So I want to be the person, and this is something I'm trying to um, work on myself, which is why I'm sharing it. I want to be a person who can quickly make sense of context because context really, um, context will steer. Our, our understanding of context will steer how we react to situations. If someone's really upset and they're angry and they're yelling, right, or they're visibly frustrated, and we just take that at face value, we might be like, that person's rude, that person doesn't consider other people, that person um, is someone that I don't even want to be around when the context may be um, they were abused at home before they came to work, or maybe they have to go home to an abusive situation, right? Doesn't that change your perspective, right? If someone is a little grumpy with you, you're like, that person's grumpy, and then maybe you found out they just lost their parent, you know? And maybe in the light of that context, you're like, wow, that person was actually being uh, very kind, you know, considering what they just went through. And so context is the lens that changes, changes our absorption of what's going on around us. When we talk about business and the business climate, right, you can just watch the stock market go up and down. You can watch different situations um, in the business climate change, and you could easily get caught up in the roller coaster of it. You could get excited. You could get scared. You could get excited. You could get scared. But if all of a sudden you zoom out and you see the context of how everything is going and why it might be happening, that actually will bring you a little bit of peace. It will bring you a little bit of focus. And when we have peace and we have focus, we can make better decisions because we understand the context. If you just experience the feelings of being on a roller coaster, 
without realizing you're on a roller coaster, well, then that'll totally change the paradigm for you. You know, one time I was uh, at Gary Vaynerchuk's building, uh, VaynerX building in Hudson Yards, and, you know, here we are, you know, 30 floors up. And it's actually more like 20-something floors up. 25, 25th floor. So 25 floors up and overlooking uh, Manhattan, kind of looking down the south end of the island. You can see the Statue of Liberty out there. You can see the Hudson River. And they have these big floor-to-ceiling glass windows. And literally, you can stand and, like, put your toes right up to the window and just stand there and look down and look around and you're, you're ridiculously high. Now, some people that makes them a little woozy, but even so, like you calibrate pretty quickly when you're in the office that like, hey, I'm this high up and I'm that close to the edge. The context is I'm safe. The context is that an engineer designed this building. Everyone else around me is acting like, hey, this is totally fine and normal, so I don't have to worry about it, right? That's the context. The context is we're having a business meeting and everybody's relaxed and the vibe is relaxed, okay? That's one context. Now, can you imagine if the windows weren't in, if there was just no glass? If there was no glass in that window and the context changed saying like, you don't have a safety line, there's no glass right there, walking too close to that is certain death, I wouldn't even be able to walk in the room. Isn't that interesting? Even though I'd be like 15 feet away from that window, my knees would get shaky, I'd get anxious, I'd start to sweat, fear would take over because the context of safety and the context of knowing that I'm protected from that fall changes and that changes how I think, how I react, how I physiologically respond to the situation. And so, Whatever your life is going on right now, whatever situations or relationships you might be dealing with, I ask that you consider the context just a little bit more deeply than you have in the past. It's what I'm trying to do. Think about the context. And when I consider the context, how can I make a better decision based on the context? How can I use the context to give me some level of certainty to take my next steps forward? Because when we can gain information that gives us certainty, guess what? I think we're gonna make better, more confident decisions, decisions that benefit the whole more than just being reactionary, than just being like base driven by fear or anxiety. And so that is the context that I wanna move forward in today. That is the context of this podcast, which is why there's nothing behind me and the room is echoey. That's the context. So today, I hope you check out the context just a little bit more. I hope you think a little bit more deeply about the context so that we can move forward and pursue some clarity together. And I will see you next week.